remember Lot's wife. I want to first and foremost start off by giving all the praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Arachak, Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone that rule well. And as always, peace, blessings, and salutations. Until the old elect of and they were scattered abroad throughout the earth. Now, this is what Yahweh Shai said. And he was speaking to his disciples, of course. You know, why was he telling them to remember Lot's wife? Because it wasn't just that Lot's wife didn't follow the instruction when the Lord through the angel told them when they got out of the city to not look back, which, you know, she ended up disobeying and she you know, stood behind and she turned around and looked back. But, um, you know, what made her look back? And why did she disobey that command knowing what the Lord's getting ready to do and simply just turned around and looked back? What was there to look back at? And, um, It pretty much exposes the mindset that Lot's wife had. She simply didn't want to leave from an environment that allowed her to dwell in pleasure, to live in luxury. You know, Lot had a he had an abundance. Because uh, Abraham, he was a rich man. But uh, they were living, even with all that luxury, they were living in a, in a very sinful, lawless environment. There was a lot of ungodly behavior going on. And, you know, those cities were safe haven. It were safe heavens for that kind of behavior. And uh, Lot's wife, you know, she didn't mind dwelling amongst that as long as she had what she had. So when it came time for the Lord to actually destroy those cities, it brought sorrow to her heart that she had to walk away from that. And uh, for you women, you, you, you know, you sisters that call yourselves in the truth. You know, you might want to go back and analyze, you know, Lot's wife and, you know, her mindset. And um, if you have any um, <clears throat> if you in the back of your mind have a certain attachment to this world, this current world. You know, that you don't really want to see this place pass away, the fashion of it, then you very well might be another Lot's wife. All right. Remember Lot's wife. It says, whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. You know, we know a lot of our women, you know, they love comfort. And um, here in America, you did have a level of comfort. All right, you 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 lived at ease as long as our enemy, the serpent, you know, he gave you that that privilege. Um, a lot of uh, these women in the West they complain about. Uh, you know, patriarchy and um, misogyny, uh, men oppressing them, uh, grape, you know, things of that nature. But you're living in a first world society where you have all the privilege in the world that women 
of other regions and other cultures don't have. So if you are so-called sister and deep down in your heart and in your mind, you really don't want to lose this privilege. You know, you don't want to lose um, the pleasure of, you know, being able to uh, live equal with men, you know, as society teaches, you know, the, the man and the woman is uh, equal. Um, that feminist mindset, you know, you feel like you can, you can usurp authority over the man. Like you still got women who claim to be in the truth. They, they self-proclaim sisters, but they'll come on the comment board and call themselves reproving men. You know, putting scriptures on the comment board, trying to correct you. And they don't think that they're going off, even though the scriptures say that a woman must uh, be in, in, in all subjection, as also say of the law. You know, so a lot of these women, they really love this world. You know, they might proclaim that they believe this truth, you know, with their lips. But like the Lord said, their heart is far from me. They're, they're really with this world. All right, because we talk about the, you know, the men. All right, because the Lord, you know, he mentions how any of us who put our hands to the plow and look back is not fit for the kingdom. So, you know, if, if any man in this truth, if his mindset is really with this world and not with this truth, even though, you know, he might be uh, fulfilling his quarter, you know, he might still do videos here and there. He might still go out. But if his mind is really with this world and he doesn't want to lose, all right, uh, the fashion and the pleasures of this world, eventually he's going to fall off. He's going to lose the, uh, the passion, the enthusiasm. You know, his mind is not going to be, uh, his, his, his eyes is not going to be single. Well, you know, we get on the, 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 the men who are, uh, you know, lukewarm in this thing, but we got to talk about you women who are self-proclaimed sisters. Now, sure, yeah, we know that there are sisters that are sincere and there are women that are of the elect, and I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about those of you who the shoe might fit. All right, some of you are not really believers. You're just in the in your emotions. You're, you're you know, you... Or in the moment. Now Lot's wife. She was an unbeliever. This is a wisdom of Solomon 10. And I'm going to read verse uh, 6. And it says. When the ungodly perished. She delivered the righteous man. And the she is talking about wisdom. Who fled from the fire. Which fell down upon the five cities. Of whose wickedness, even to this day, the wasteland that smoketh is a testimony, and plants bearing fruit that never come to ripeness, and a standing pillar of salt as a monument of an unbelieving soul. All right, and she's still standing up there to this very day, that pillar of salt. The Lord turned her into that and left her on that, on the top of that, the edge of that hill. All right, archaeologists go back and they revisit and still up there. Well, that's a, a monument of an unbelieving soul. That's why the Lord said, remember Lot's wife. And that's for the men too. You know, because the you know, Israel as a whole, as a nation, is is a wife to 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 the most high. All right. Which Yahweh Shai. You know, when he when he returns, he's gonna be the bridegroom coming back to, you know, meet with the bride. And uh, none of the un, none of the unbelievers are gonna make it. You know, a lot of the unbelievers, you know, what they had in their mind was, I, mean, I really don't want to lose all this that I that I possess. Um, 
the liberty to to sin. Um, I don't want to lose that. The pleasure that come with that, I don't want to lose that. Like like a lot of our women. You know, once this world pass away, you're going to realize all things are new. It's not going to continue the way you see it now. All right, women are not going to be uh, out there uh, like they like they do now, roaming uh, the streets. All right, ain't going to be no, uh, you know, girls trips while they're married. That that's that's going to be that's going to pass away. You know, um, hopping from man to man, that's out. That, that that will no longer be a thing in the world to come. That's going to pass away here. If you feel any sorrow for having to have left that kind of uh, liberty, you know, behind. Then uh, you might be an unbelieving soul. You know, losing the ability to use your children against your man, your husband, using that as a as as a a, 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 a power a, a power tool over him. Because a lot of a lot of these women out here, they that's, that's exactly what they do. They'll use the system, or their in their children, to have power over her husband. You know, she'll threaten him, you know, you I won't you won't see your kids if you, you know, this, that, or third. You will not have that uh pleasure, you know, you will not have that that luxury in the world to come. So in your mind, if if, if you feel in sorrow that you will no longer have have it that way in the world to come. And you and you hope that this place doesn't uh, pass away anytime soon. Then you might be Lot's wife. You might be that unbelieving soul. All right. You know, these, I'm, and I'm I'm just going into the mindset. Okay. You know, you you really in 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 your heart. You know, you really don't want to. Uh, Leave any of this behind. You know, dressing out, um, um, you know, scantily clad. You know, because here in Babylon, you got the freedom to uh, move how you want to move. So, you know, you can uh, wear things that are revealing. All right. And it's, uh, if you got a husband, it's very disrespectful. And a lot of these women out here, they, they like to show off they, you know, their goods. In the world to come, that that's not that's not going to be a thing. All right, um, things are going to be completely different. And um, if you're so used to the way it is now, and that's what you want, that's what you really desire, you wouldn't have it no other way. Then uh, yeah, there's there's a big chance that you might be Lot's wife. You know. The fact that in the world to come, you're going to have to cover up, be in order, be respectful, dress in modest apparel, like the scriptures say, not trying to bring attention to yourself. You know, the, the, I mean, and this is it. This is this lesson is designed to make you uh, think. All right. You know, because the scriptures talk about. Uh, examining yourselves whether you be in the faith and this is really directed towards the women who believe that they're in the faith examine your 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 spirit examine your mindset are you ready for all this to really really pass away because that means all the things that these women benefited from and have pleasure in that's all going to go too you believe in that uh your man should only just be with you only you know, you uh, policing the rod of your, your husband. You checking through his, his phone and, be, you know, that behavior. You know that that's, that's going to be left right here in Babylon, right? 
That, that behavior is definitely not going to be tolerated in the world to come. So, you, you, I mean, right now, you, you could do all that. And he can't do nothing about it. And, you, you know, you can divorce him, that, which is, that's totally out of, uh, out of order. There's no such law where a woman can divorce a man. But right now, y'all got it like that. You could do that. So, if you have it in your mind that you hate that you won't no you will no longer have that uh privilege and you like it the way it is where you can actually do that <laughs> yeah you 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 are you are unbelieving soul you 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 definitely might uh share the mind of Lot's wife You know, so yeah, you know, this is uh, an example, and what was written four time was written for our learning. All right, when the Lord said, "Remember Lot's wife," that wasn't just a blanket statement. That's actually to get you to think of you know what mindset to be in. All right, she that 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 particular world that she lived in she really didn't want to see it pass away because you know just like um that rich man that uh Yahweh Shai encountered uh let's go to Matthew 19 real quick because it's the same mindset different scenario same mindset is uh Matthew 19 In 16, the, the, the rich young ruler, it says, And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is the most high. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. He said unto him, Which, Yahweh said, Thou shalt do no, no murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man said unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? Yahweh Shai said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor. You know, you got all this money, you got all this wealth. Well, why don't you, because uh, you don't need all that, why don't you sell it and help out the poor? And thou shalt have treasure in heaven. All right, you, you, now you done, stored up, you done uh, stored up brownie points with the Heavenly Father so he could remember you. Right? You got a, now you got a spiritual bank account. The Lord is telling this guy, set your affections on the things above and not on the things of the earth. So, to, even to you women. You got your affection set on the things uh, uh, of the heavens, the will of, of Yahbash Miyawashai, or is it still set to this, this world, this earth, where you're able to, you know, live scot free, all right, uh, uh, away from the obedience of uh, Yahbash Miyawashai, where you could just do what you want, do as you please, be out of order. And enjoy the, the 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 benefits of it, living at ease, being careless. You know, put you know putting your men through hell, giving him problems. It says, "And come and follow me." But when the young man, Selakia, but when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. So he had the same mindset as uh, Lot's wife. Basically, he thought he thought upon it. He, he he and he looked back and was like, "Yeah, I can't I can't sell all that. I can't leave that behind." He just couldn't do it. He couldn't just move forward. So you think he sold everything and went and followed Yahweh Shai? Nah. He was living in too much pleasure. 
That's why it says in Timothy, dealing with you, uh, you women, she that liveth from pleasure is dead while she liveth. And this society is all about catering to the pleasure and desires and emotions of women. This is why you got all these uh, reality shows, uh, you know, uh, soap operas, Housewives of Atlanta, shopping malls. Okay. You know, spas and salons. It's all for comfort. And, uh, you know, in this truth, it's not meant to be comfortable. And even like when you go into um, the epistle of Paul to the church of Corinth, it talks about uh, marriage. It explains a lot concerning um, the nature of women because he said, he that uh, marrieth for wife, he careth for the things of this world, how he may please his wife. So a lot of uh, these women, they have worldly mindsets. Like, the, you know, the man has to walk on eggshells to keep his wife happy. So he has to be a worldly man. He has to care about things of the world, you know, riches. You know, a certain uh, luxurious uh, lifestyle. You know, he 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 can't um, be attracted to other women. He just got to be attracted to just her only. He has to be committed and faithful to her. But anytime she get upset, she ain't gotta uh, she ain't gotta be that way. The moment she gets bored, I'm finna go find attention from somewhere else. That shit is gonna be out of here. When this when when this place gets destroyed, all that is gone. You will no longer uh, have it this way. That this this was all this, the serpent's doing. All right, going back to the garden. You know he. They had that discussion, and it was pleasant in their eyes. All right, going back to Eve. You know, it, it, it was pleasant. All right. And, 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 you know, she, she, she took it in and consumed it and fell in love with it. Can't be like that. All right. Cause this devil, he really deceived the minds of, our people. He really he deceived the whole world. All right, if, if we didn't um, take hold of this devil's uh, evil seed, all right, which, which was planted in the mind of uh, Adam, we'd still be mortal. And this is the reason why the Lord commanded for Adam to rule over Eve. Because she would have, she, like the scriptures say, these, these women will abuse themselves with over much liberty. And this is what you're finding out, all right? F the, the, the feminism and women's lib and the things that brought you here, where you have it the way you have it right now, it actually destroyed you. It destroyed your, your, your families, it destroyed your nation. So if you even remotely had that mentality, you got to completely unhook yourself, check completely out of that mindset. Because Eve was deceived, man. She was lied to. But it came with pleasure, the pleasures of sin. Sin, sin was very attractive in her eyes. That's why I said it was pleasant to her. All right. You see the, the, the pride look on our on, on our women now. They're enjoying the, the, the pleasure of sin. 
That's where the pride and haughtiness comes in. You know, I got men worshiping me, the queen of heaven, spirit that's on these men, simps. They're not checking my behavior, not shaming me. So, you know, if you one of those women that don't you don't like to be corrected, you don't want to, you know, your man to criticize you, all right, to, to, to get you in line, to get you in order, then you are an unbeliever too. You know, because us men, we ought to take rebuke. The Lord rebuked us. And we feared and we we got in line. So, if any of, any of these things before you, you know, you might want to, uh, you know, examine yourself. You know, you might want to count the costs. Because the way these women have it and the mindset that they have, that shit will not translate over into the new heaven and the new earth, the kingdom. It's not going to be a matriarchy, all right, where all the, you know, the, the big mamas and the aunties, they all the ones that are making all the decisions for the family and raising up all the the, uh, the children without without the men. You know, used to, you know, uh, you making decisions and having to say so. All right, that's not going to fly, all right? You're not going to be able to uh, use your sons, all right, like like you do now. You know, because some women, they, they treat their sons like, uh, like husbands. You know, you got son husbands, man. And y'all know what I'm talking about. And I'm not necessarily talking about incest or anything like that, but, you know, you got women out there that has those kind of uh, relationships with their sons, man. That's not going to fly either. Because once he becomes a man, he's a man. He's not under your authority after that. So if you, if, if that mindset as well, you think you're going to go in the kingdom like that? Hey. So. Let's go back. Luke 17. Luke 17 and 32. Remember Lot's wife. All right. So when that time comes, when it's time for us to be as pilgrims on the earth, we to have no attachments to anything that we have here. All right. When it comes down to uh, this devil institute in the MOTB. Are you willing to, to, to lose your life? Are you willing to be. Um, lose access. To everything in, in this in this world. If you're not willing to do that and you're going to uh, just be caught up in a moment. Because you're thinking about the pleasures that you once had. You're thinking about all of the, the expensive food and, you know, you being able to go to these uh, expensive restaurants. Like you got these women now giving the list of uh, all the places that they don't they don't want to go on a, on the first date. That's how that's how these women got it right now, that they can compile a list. Oh, don't you're not going on a date with me if you take me over here. All them women taking that the the uh, the, the C hip. Any women in that then in that in that mindset, they're taking a the C hip. They're of they're definitely of this world. They're not coming with us to the next one. And some of you women, you're gonna you're gonna uh you're gonna take it. Because you're really not in the faith. You're an unbelieving soul like Lot's wife. But we shall see. 
And this is for the, you know, if the shoe fits, or maybe this is, might actually strike something within you to, you know, help you, you know, uh, examine, you know, examine yourself. You're like, oh shit, you know, he, yeah. Are you fighting with those things? Hey, fight it off. Those those thoughts. So anyway, I just wanted to go into that. The Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to you. I'm about to shine to the next lesson. Shalom.